The video you're about to watch is actually of me dressing um, the loom. I'm about ready to make my first rug. It's quite a big one. I think it's about four feet by four, so it's kind of square. Didn't want it to be square, but that's what it came out like. So you're going to watch from the beginning, uh, almost the beginning. You're missing part of it. I've already done probably, a, it looks like, two feet already. So. I'm going to finish off the next two feet of warping and slaying the reed. Then I'm going to switch over to the other side and do the heddles. So I've divided this video up into chapters so you can skip around and see different parts because it is quite long. I bought this tool from Amazon and well. So I decided to try a better tool, but I found out that uh, it's probably best just to do it by hand. And in fact, it was quite quick. I was able to thread the heddles much quicker instead of using this little tool, which I really do like. Uh, I think it's done by Ashford produces it. Uh, for slaying the reed, it's great. I haven't found anything that works better. Here you can see a little bit of detail. I'm going a little quick right now, but I'll slow it down for you. I'm not a really big fan of these heddles. I think I'm going to change them out. I know you can get some cloth heddles. Uh, it's not really cloth, it's kind of a woven heddle. I'm not sure the name of it. I'm still learning names of different parts and pieces of the loom. But these tend to get stuck on the metal, and if I use a uh, fabric heddle instead, I can move them around much easier. Or I can go off and buy some better heddles for this, but these just aren't our deal. Thank you. 
this is the very last part of threading the heddles. It really only took about two hours. I uh, kept going in and out and doing things. Um, I just finished fixing it. a bowler. It was having some issues, so I was running in to check to make sure it was working okay. So the back of this loom, like most looms, you can take apart and move the uh, warp beam so you can get closer to the heddles. This one is a little bit harder to do because you got to put these little pins back in and it's um, really cumbersome to, to do that. And I'm, um, obviously I'm unrolling the, the um, warp beam or the apron that goes around the warp beam to start tying the warp, the linen warp to this uh, apron. I'm not using any fancy knots here, I'm just using a kind of a overhand, double overhand. So I'm just stretching out the warp to get it ready to feed it through to wind it onto the warp beam. And this is where we run into an issue. So as I was pulling the warp through, I found that the heddles are, well, they're big enough, but because it's metal, they, they turn. Um, I know you, you probably don't know what the heddles look like, but they're, they're angled. It's not a, the hole is not straight. It's not like a flat piece of metal with a hole in it. It's actually a flat piece of metal that has been angled at about a 45 degree angle. So the stri strings go through it. Well, they're getting stuck and it's pulling the heddles away from the harness. And this could be a problem, but I think I've figured this out, and you're going to see that in the next video, which will be much shorter. So, if you want to see what happens, and if I can actually make this work, then you better watch the next video.